Baha'i Gardens, direction where Baha'i people uh, pray. Welcome to Old City of Akko. Uh, only in Old City of Akko you will discover a perfectly preserved Crusader city being unearthed and bring back to life, located directly under the city built above it. Phenomenon, the Old City of Akko is recognized as a UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site. Uh, wanderers discovers await you here. Walls of forests, uh, nice walls, uh, churches, synagogues and mosques. All reminds of the city uh, concrete and religions from the Knaanites and Romans to the Crusaders, Turkish and British. So this is the old city of Akko and over there is Haifa. Uh, Haifa Baha'i Garden who hook the Strait of Akko. By, uh, this, uh, by this event. The Al Jazar Mosque is the largest mosque in Israel outside of Jerusalem uh, and the largest mosque built in Israel du during the Ottoman Empire. According to the inscription uh, in the entrance, the mosque was uh, constructed in 1781-82, early in the rule of Ahmed Al Jazar in Akko. of the uh, hump of international trade. Um, merchants uh, unload their goods in uh, storerooms on the first floor and uh, residate in the rooms of the second floor. The Khan was built in the late 18th century by, by Ahmed Al Jazar and supported by series of uh, grain, granite uh, columns transported from another locations. Port. The port was uh, first mentioned in relation to the Greek companion to conquer Egypt in uh, 527 to uh, 525 BC. The port was uh, built during the region of uh, Ptolemy uh, II, 285 to 246 BC, transforming Akko into an international port city and the gateway to Israel. It reached uh, its Zanish during the conquered by the Crusaders in the 13th century. Akko became the capital of the Crusaders' kingdom in the Holy Land. After Ottoman conquers, uh, the port was uh, uh, negli negliged, re uh, reduced to a fisherman's uh, harbor. San Giorgio's Church.
Sirat Yasharim, uh, Port of the Just, arrived in Akko with his family in 1743, joining Jewish community there. Their magnificent um, synagogue was taken over by Dachal al Ormar and converted into a mosque. In return, the Jewish community received a rather plain looking building. This one. Here are all underground buses. Besides, they tore the church of St. Anne. 
us with the prices that they're asking to pay. It's the soil of Jerusalem, but still it's just clay. It's holy and good business, I think I will stay. Of our faithful pilgrims we are left, we just do. On holy church walls they set the future and clue. While engraving graffiti pierce eyes where I light. My heart is fulfilled with my sculpting and drawing. I even then cheat my friends, art is my calling. Pilgrims who had successfully completed their journey to the Holy Land inscribed symbols of religious significance. As most people in the Middle Ages were illiterate, they expressed their gratitude to the Lord for their successful journey by incised graffiti of marine vessels, fishes, the symbol of a flame. These are very deep tunnels. 